Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'll be talking about another Roster Rumors video. This time is now for the for the 12th, I'm pretty sure. The oh, or the 16th, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the 16th of the first, I'm pretty sure. Um by Rocket. And we have quite a lot of stuff to talk about, mainly once again from China. Uh so let's just get right into it. America's nothing, we'll just ignore that. One change that I will talk about EMEA, which is not listed here, but I'm pretty sure was announced a couple days ago was a new performance coach from Fnatic, that being uh, Esports Ryan or Ryan Skolan. I don't know, how, I, not, I'm not really too sure if I pronounced his name correctly, but he's going to be the new performance coach. Apparently, um, he was, I, I think it was also part, he was also part of the Fnatic LEC coaching staff, not really too sure, but that's something quickly to mention as well about Fnatic um, and the Pacific. Two things mainly, and that includes mainly DRX, uh, with Zest. Now, we already know where RB is going to be going, but what about Zest? Not really too sure. Apparently, he might be going to a Tier 2 team. Not really too sure what team, maybe. Um, but, obviously, Zest is now officially gone, which means that I think is now, what, Stax? And I don't know who the other one is. Uh, I'm not really too sure, but it's... Yeah, Stax, I think. I, I'm pretty sure Stax is like the only player who was actually part of the original Vision Striker squad. Unless maybe kind of Mako as well, but obviously Mark Lee wasn't part of it until he came into a pretty sure to replace Glow. And Buzz Hills originally from Clan 9 Korea, so he wasn't actually part of the main roster until Clan 9 Korea disbanded and other, but then he joined DRX. But I guess I'm pretty sure Stax was like the found was like is now like the last founding member who is playing. Obviously Glow counts as as obviously he's part he's in the coaching staff. But it's pretty sad to see now the once dominant Vision Striker team that dominated Korea in like 2020 Valorant is now has officially gone the spin, you know? Um now it's just Stax I'm pretty sure who's he's the founding member of that team is the only elite left. What I think another one to mention as well is Zinx, who I, who I'm pretty sure I don't think is gonna be the sub for the team. I'll be very I'll be, I'll be very surprised if he is. But he is basically the new Prospect, so he so he's now part of the DRS that uh, the he's now part of the DRX prospect team, and he's a duelist. It looks like so. Is it going to be another Foxy Nine or is it going to be Hyoni? If you don't know who who Hyoni is, do your um. I'll let you redo your research. But I'm sure. I mean, yes. I mean, if Zinx is actually going to be in the six man squad, I'll be very very surprised considering that he's not 18. So, but I highly doubt he's going to be. So I think that just might be an error. Main thing though is China. That's obviously a big thing that I'm going to be looking at. So, first start off with Edward Gaming as they have announced their full roster. Obviously, with Kang Kang, Smoggy, Nobody, Haldong, Shishi, and Mugu. He, he's still going to be there as a reserve. And this is basically what it looks like. As you can see here, though, no Sword 9. Sword 9 is not in the coaching staff as he is rumored to be going back to pro play to be with all gamers. Not really too sure how that roster is going to go, but this team should be favorites uh, um, into this season, especially for Master Madrid, but there's quite a lot of strong teams forming over in China, so Sword Knight should actually be off, I'll be honest, from Edward Gaming, um, as he's most likely going to be joining all gamers, it looks like here. Fun Plus Phoenix now, as they've also announced their full roster with Live, so that, so it's going to be A, Auden Berlin, Live, and then Lysol, and then a coach once again with Nathan D. So it does look like that Autumn will be the flex player, Life will be the new duelers. Really excited to see how this roster goes. This is going to be a roster to look out for. I mean, they, they perform extremely well in the Evolution series, and I expect them to perform once again very well in the main... In the, I guess, in the, yeah, in the main season, I should say, in the kickoff, Stage 1, Stage 2 as well. They should be also top favorites as well. Another team that could maybe be a top team is Billy Billy Gaming, as they have also announced their roster with Bear, and I'm pretty sure Levius is gone, and Ren as well, including Paris. Uh, so there's been some, some coaching stuff, and also some roster changes as well. And also, fun fact as well, that uh, Jackson, he's basically back. So I'm pretty sure what happened was that during the Evolution series, it, I think it was XPZ. So XPZ was the coach for Billy Billy Gaming, and they look kind of shite. So, luckily, now Jackson's back in, and I, I just want to say this, Jackson, he was with the team during Champions when they had that massive run, and they beat out NRG twice. This is the same coach. So, if that is the case, Billy Lee Billy, they're, now going to be a, they're probably going to be a top five team now. Uh, now with Jackson in the lineup, and Rain is also the leader as well, just worth mentioning. But, 
to make players as Wizzy, Bianca, and Knight. Both of them are initiators. Yosemite and Bear, who will be the new IGL for the team. So that's a pretty decent roster. All gamers, they still have not announced their roster. We don't even know who the coach is going to be as well. So that'll be pretty interesting to see. But no very sports. Oh, oh boy. No very sports. I don't know how to feel about this team, but mm, I'd be interested. So the coach will be 24k, who I'm pretty sure is Korean. So he's going to be the coach for the team. And then we have Peng H, Never, who is Russian, CB, Obon, U, and Guang. Now, U, just like I said before, he's going to be the new, well, uh, he's going to be the IGL for this team. And the main issue I have with this team is that they've kept like five of their, was, yeah, five, four, four of their players, Peng H, CB, Obon, and U. Now, I'm not really too sure if they're going to be like, I, mm, I don't really know. I'm not, I'm not expecting that much from this team, I'll be honest. I think this team could maybe be the new definition focus me of whatever in China. If this team gets competitive and wins two uh, like two matches, I would say two matches, because I think there's maybe another team that could maybe be on the, on the same page as them, I will um, make a formal apology to Nova Esports because I have no faith in this team. I think Guang, he's a pretty decent player. Obviously, he he, uh, he was part of Raw Never Give Up, who I'm pretty sure was in two, I, I think, two main acts, I'm pretty sure. And they were decent, not really the best, but decent. But Never, I now, I actually watch a VOD of Never. And he used to play over in Levant and North Africa, basically in the MENA region. And he was part of, of uh, Team Rad. And I did not see any impact from him. I actually completely forgot that why I was watching that VOD. And I was like, oh, wait, yeah, Never is in this team. I just, it completely blindsided me that Never was not in this team, that was actually in this team. So, I'm just, I mean, I, I don't really know. I mean, because he didn't put a lot of impact on the, uh, uh, for his team. I even looked at the stats. It wasn't really that, I mean, he, it wasn't like duelist levels, we'll say, but it doesn't really matter. He just... I mean, I just, I, I, I don't have faith in the same, I'll be honest. I'd be very surprised if they do at least get two wins. Because I think this might be another team that could maybe be on the same page as them. Uh, that is Pacific, my friend. China, now back to China. Trace Esports, I've also announced it for Orosa with CXY on the lineup. I'm pretty sure he's going to be the sub player to replace Dynamite, uh, who is not be, who's not in the team anymore. Destroyer will still be the coach, and they basically kept the five core of Fang F, Kai, Flexen, Heibei and you and Heibei will also be the IGL for this team as well. But other than that, a pretty decent roster, probably top five in my opinion. Another team which are definitely top five are JD Gaming. I mean, Rare Adam Cole, Stu, Viva, Jakuro, who used to play for top esports, Yihao, and Martin. Interestingly, though, is that Bilio. So Bilio was rumored to be leaving the team and to be replaced by Yoman. But it looks like Yoman is not going to be joining JD Gaming, which I find very surprising. Unless he's, unless he has like another, uh, like like another offer that is better for him. But I really expect him to at least stay, at least with the Red Adam call and you know, help them out and stuff. But it looks like Billyo, he he's going to be the new coach for the team, which is really really surprising to me. So, but the issue I have is I don't know who's going to be eye gelling. So is it going to be? I mean, I, my guess is maybe Yihao. I'm guessing Yihao might be the new IGL. If not, maybe Viva, but I know Viva is also a flex player, so I highly doubt that, but I think Yihao might be the new IGL, but I have no idea who, who's going to be IGL at least for the team. It'll be pretty interesting, though, to say the least, but definitely a team to look out for. Now, the other thing, now, the other team that I said that was probably going to be a Nova Esports level is Tyloo, as they basically have kept the same roster, they just added two players. So, ultimately, like I mentioned before, they added HFMI, who is going to be on the starting roster, it looks like. But the other player that, that they've added is Mikia. I don't know a lot about Mikia. I don't know what team he was part of. But he's on this team. He was He's a Sentinel. So probably going to be... I think it's... I think Ak? I think Ak is the is the Sentinel? Yeah, so Ak is indeed the Sentinel. So could we maybe see Mikia maybe play? I'm not really too sure. And slowly, he's also been moved as well to the reserve roster. So both of them will be subs. And they've also kept a Yi as well as the coach is in as a manager. And then um you I don't know how you say his name, but he but this guy's the lead, I'm pretty sure. Like the lead manager, I'm guessing. I, I don't really know. Or the game leader. I don't really know. But this team I feel like might also be in the same boat as Nova Esports. And I think Tiger is a bit better than Nova, but uh, I just 
everyone's going to be turning to that match. I'll say that. It, when it's Tidally versus Nova, everyone's going to be turning into that match as to see who are the worst, like, basically who is the worst team in China. Because those two are definitely neck and neck. Wolves Esports is just like all gamers. Both of them have not announced their rosters yet. All we know is that Plex was joining Wolves Esports and clearly with names because of social media posts, but that's really about it. And the final one, and the final one is Dragon Ranger Gaming, as they have announced their full roster as well. With the various Luke and Nizal TCH, like I mentioned beforehand, Dingwei, Nick as the IGL and Pukashu. So Nick will be the new will be the IGL for this team. And worth mentioning as well that UGN has moved over from co from player to coach. And LT will be also will be sticking around as the new as the coach for the team. Now I don't really know who's gonna be the head coach for the team. It doesn't really matter or anything. I think LT might be still the head coach. The UGN will be the assistant coach, but I'm not really too sure. But either way, I think this team is probably going to be a top, maybe a, a maybe bottom midfield team, in my opinion, or just midfield as a whole. But that does also mean as well that Zeno is officially gone from the team. I do hope that he at least gets a team. Uh, a, he is, well, he gets into a team because I think he's a phenomenal player, especially in the Malaysian Singapore region. Could it? I mean, could he maybe join Disguise? Even though he's not really rumored to be joining Disguise, could he maybe join another team? I'm no idea but that is all the rosters basically so i guess we need to wait for all gamers titan esports club to officially announce a roster but that's what but this is what the roster is probably gonna be looking like and wolves esports so those are the three teams that need to officially announce a roster and then after that we'll be done so at least that'll be a decent side then we need to wait for basically talon to uh announce surf possibly and then emea what is happening with koi um, and then Trex also be, and also possibly be joining Team Vitality, and then America's, I mean, the big one is also EG, but this is what the roster is probably going to look like. So now, I like you now, guys, to like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help me, especially on this channel as we grow, uh, I mean, as we also grow into 2024. So that's really about it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys the next time in the next one. Goodbye.